welcome to the Mother May I podcast. I am your host, Whitney Johnson. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe because you're going to want to be around all the time. This podcast is not like your average podcast. We definitely dig into some of those challenging things in motherhood that we don't like to talk about. And I give you strategies and tips that support you through getting through those challenges without having to yell, scream, or remove your own peace while doing it. So make sure you subscribe and you bring your ass here, girl. <laughs> so this episode is special to me, y'all, mainly because this is my 11th episode and I started this podcast on the 11th and this week this episode is going to center around my birthday it's going to center around my birthday my birthday is January the 21st I will be I think 33 Uh, let me get back to you because I forget how old I am but don't worry about that so (laughs) I know I know that's my birthday though that part I'm sure on so January 21st is my birthday. This episode comes out um, the day before my birthday. And I'm just so, so different. And like, <clears throat> I just wanted this episode to mainly be about some of the things that I've learned over these years as I've transitioned from my 20s to my 30s, because I do know I'm early 30s. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I just don't know where. I think 32 or 33. Don't. I, I'm going to get it. But as I've learned so many things from transitioning from 20 to 30, I thought it would be like really dope to use this episode to like share some of those things to women who may have gone through some of those things that I've gone through, maybe at a later time or an earlier time, whenever. I feel like we're all always learning anyway. And if we learn something, we do a great deal of benefit to other people when we just share it right so that's what i wanted this episode to be about um i usually um you know do these notes and not really follow the notes because a lot of the shit just comes from my head because that's just how i am but like you know how you write your notes and you kind of go through your notes and stuff like that i usually do that for these episodes but this time was different this time i felt compelled to just speak from my heart This episode felt right for me to just speak from my heart. And so um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to edit anything. This is just going to go straight on out to y'all. Okay. So (laughs) this episode means a lot to me because I feel like as I've transitioned from 20 to 30, I've learned how to be a woman. I feel like in my 20s, um, I was discovering who I was. I was making mistakes, falling down, making those mistakes again, falling down, doing them one more time, <laughs> just to be on the safe side, because you know, sometimes we hard headed. Um, and I did a lot of that in my 20s. And now as I transition to my 30s, I feel like a lot of that shit I ain't got time for. You know, a lot of the things that I used to check people for or like get in their ass about or comment about or all those different things, it'd be like, mm. I could, like, I could really go there with your ass, but do I want to? No, boo, like, you just broken, you just going through some shit, you hurt, you need to heal, you got some inner shit going on with you, and I see that in a reflection of you, because that's why I used to be, and I know that only thing I needed in that moment was somebody to hear me, and to heal me, and to help me through that process, but you don't know how to ask for that. And I know all those things are going on with you. And because I cannot help you through that space right now, because there's still some things I'm personally healing from, I got to let you ride. I got to let it ride. I sit there and I look at you and I see what you're going through and I see how you're projecting those things. And I have to let you ride because part of that is you discovering those things on your own. Luckily, I've built up enough confidence within myself where those things don't no longer like throw me off. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, and I have like habits and things in place that support me, even if I do get thrown off, right? Because it ain't like I'm invincible to being thrown off. We all can be thrown off, right? But when you do get thrown off, how do you get back on? 
And so that's why a lot of my work and the stuff that I do is very important to me because I've developed these habits from all the bullshit I've been through in my past. And now I put it together and I see how important habits are. I see how important boundaries are. I see how important it is to talk to our children in a different way just from me going through my own shit. And so that's why this platform and my work, everything that I do means so, so, so much to me. You guys have no clue how much your comments mean, your likes, your DMs, all my motherhood circle ladies, like all of you guys, like you guys have no freaking clue how much that shit means to me um, because this is something I'm truly, truly passionate about. And I want to see other women get through these challenges and hurdles and waves and parenting a whole lot more smoothly because there is a way. I swear to you, there is a way that you can parent your children without having that stress that we have normalized in motherhood. I promise you it is. I promise you there is a way for you to not wake up every morning stressed out. I promise you there is. I promise you there's another side to all of this. But what I cannot promise you is that if you don't do the work, if you don't show up for yourself, if you don't try, if you don't stop some of your negative habits, if you don't try to heal, if you don't put yourselves in environments where you can be uplifted, then nothing will ever change. You will stay the same. Things will stay like they are. But I can guarantee that if you decide to change, oh, baby, there is a glory on the other side of that. And motherhood does not have to feel like we've normalized it to be. Period. And I think that just came from my own experiences, right? Because like I tell y'all, I went through postpartum depression and it was trash. I don't wish that on like no freaking body. Like, postpartum depression was one of the darkest places in my fucking life. I don't even know who I was. I just know that my life was dark. I was suicidal. I did not know how to surrender to asking people to help me. And so a lot of times we walk around here with this pride and we want to hold our head up so high and make everybody believe that we have it all together when deep down, everything is crumbling and we need to surrender to saying damn it help me somebody find me help me find the way help me find the way and that's what i feel my call is because i've been there literally could not lift my head off the pillow slices all up my arms I couldn't do it. And when I went through my postpartum depression, I was hospitalized for it. And still to this day, I think about it. But I think the one thing that makes me feel so good about it is that I'm doing the work to help other people not get to that point. Because it creeps up. It creeps up. It starts with not eating. Then it moves to not doing your hair. Then it moves to not taking care of yourself. Then it moves to, well, everybody needed me for this. Then it moves to, well, this, this. And it just keeps piling. It keeps piling. It's so, it's, it, it's so, it just keeps piling up. And eventually, because it piles up so much, you start to create that as your norm. Like, that's just how it is now. That's just how things are because I've gotten older now. No absolutely not just because we age and we get older that does not mean that life now all of a sudden has to be more stressful that just means we have to put more skills and more tactics in place to support us that does not mean that life has to be hard we only want it hard because we've been hurt hearing that all this time from our parents our adults all these other people around us and they told us that life has to be hard and so because they've told us that life has to be hard and we may have seen their life be challenging now we've adapted that same thing within ourselves and we are creating life to be harder than it has to be literally and so when we overcomplicate things we don't get a chance to see that there is a clearer path that there is another way because the only thing we can see is what we've always seen again that's why i created the motherhood circle right the reason why i created the motherhood circle is for those reasons a lot of times, all we see on 
Instagram, Facebook, all the stuff is about how terrible and bad as hell our kids are, um, how messy all our cars are, how horrible life is as a mother. Well, not horrible, but y'all know what I mean, like how stressful or how overwhelming motherhood is, right? how painful it is to see all the like we have all these things and expectations about motherhood surrounding us all the freaking time and so my space the motherhood circle is for whatever you view as motherhood because none of it really is right or wrong it's just your path it's just your views there is no right or wrong way there is no perfect way but there's a peaceful way there's a peaceful way and I can help you get there. I, I know the way to that. <laughs> and so that's why I'm here. That's why I do this work. And so this podcast, this episode today was mainly about me sharing some of that with y'all, like really getting an insight into why this platform matters so much to me, who I truly am and how I've used my situation to help me position myself to help other moms behind me my to my 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 purpose is to just be a blessing in that way so if you just show up if you just like something if you just comment whatever it is i'm truly truly thankful and honored that you took the time out to do that for me because this means a lot to me and i thank each and every one of you for rocking with me those of my day ones all my players from the Himalayas, y'all know who y'all are, aunties, homegirls, the mothers, all y'all. I thank y'all so, so daggone much for rocking with me. And cheers to another freaking year. Like, I'm 30-something. <laughs> I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out how old I am. I'm going to put it in the comments. But thank y'all so much for tuning in to the Mother May I podcast. See y'all next week for another episode right here on the Mother May I podcast.